Thank you. Mr. Chair, I rise to offer this amendment to ensure the National Science Foundation can continue investing in the development of an American workforce that is globally competitive in computer science and information technology. This has been a bipartisan goal in the past, and I'm hopeful everyone in this chamber will be able to support it. Computing technology has become an integral part of our lives, transforming our society and our nation's economy. Nowhere is this clearer than in the Puget Sound region. I have the honor of representing Washington's first district, which has some of the world's leading software companies and technology innovators. But the same can be seen across the country. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there will be roughly 10 million STEM jobs by 2020. And of those jobs, half are expected to be in computing and information technology. That's nearly 5 million good paying jobs. But unless we step up our game, our country won't have enough computer science graduates to fill those positions. Today, there continues to be a substantial shortage of Americans with the skills needed to fill computing jobs, and too few of our students are being given the opportunity to learn computer science, both at the K through 12 level and in college. And what's worse, dramatic disparities remain for girls and students of color. Last year, less than 25% of students taking the AP computer science exam were girls, while less than 15% were African American or Latino. To remain economically competitive, we need to make smart investments now, now to address these disparities and ensure we have a strong 21st century workforce in the decades to come. Thankfully, NFS, NSF supports vital research and development projects to help prepare the next generation to compete in STEM jobs, something we all agree is an important goal. My amendment simply clarifies that under the legislation, NSF can also invest in projects aimed at developing an American workforce that is globally competitive in computing and information technology, sectors that are they're seeing enormous growth here at home and around the globe. If we want our students to be prepared for the digital economy, NSF must be able to fund projects that support the teaching and learning of essential computer science skills like coding, programming, designing, and debugging. My amendment will do just that. It will ensure we're looking forward and preparing students for the college degrees and careers of the future. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support it. And with that, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlelady from Washington.